nimesema hiyo mpango iletwe karibu iwe imekamilika by 2025 ndio tuhakikishe ya kwamba vijana wengi hapa Mombasa na Pwani waweze kupata ajira katika sekta hiyo ya agro processing value addition na ile manufacturing itaendelea katika special economic zone zetu mambo ya chai mambo ya kahawa avocado na zile mazao zingine zote ambazo kwa sasa tunauza unprocessed tuweze kuzifanyia processing hapa nyumbani ili tuweze kukomboa nafasi za ajira na kukomboa eh, dhamana kubwa ama value ya products ambazo tuna eh, zikuza kama taifa hapa Kenya na pia to allay the fears that are being spread by um, people that there will be an increase in electricity um, costs i want to assure the country that we removed subsidies in august there will be no additional charges today or going into the future on electricity bills to the people of Kenya we are conducting a whole review of tariffs of all our energy requirements and in 3 months time we will have public consultation to ensure that we have tariffs that are sensitive to those at the uh, um, with with, um, with with minimum uh, uh, earnings to ensure that those at the bottom of the pyramid are not affected and to ensure that we can support our manufacturers contrary to the stories being peddled around that there will be job losses there will be additional uh, cost of living uh, those are just uh, people who are speculators let me assure the country that we have already made the right decisions on ensuring that we have a predictable platform on how to run our economy there will be no additional costs on electricity we have um, already taken care of all the subsidies that we removed in uh, in august and we are going to ensure that our manufacturers our value addition processors and all kenyans including those on lifeline tariff are taken in cons into consideration as we review the tariffs going into um, into the future i also want to assure the country that we have transitioned from an economy based on debt to an economy based on revenue that is the kind of country and that is the kind of sure, sure footing that we are looking at nimesema ya kwamba neno la mungu linatufundisha kwamba a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children it means a not so good man leaves debt to his uh, as an inheritance to his children we do not want to be bad people we want to leave an inheritance for our children by building our country not on debt but on our taxes na nataka niwashukuru wa Kenya wengi ambao wanalipa ushuru hasa wale wa Kenya wa kiwango ya chini wote wanalipa ushuru bila kukwepa na mimi nataka niwahakikishie wale wengine wote wawe ni wakubwa wawe wanajulikana wawe ni waheshimiwa wawe ni wastahiki wawe ni my excellency wote pia watalipa ushuru ndio kila mkenya tuweze kujenga taifa letu katika msingi sawa sawa ya kuhakikisha kwamba we can defend our independence by making sure that we build our country and we run our development and we run our economy on the basis of our own taxes and revenues that are raised by the people of Kenya na washukuru sana eh, mama kwa kutukaribisha hapa governor wetu amesema ya kwamba tunataka viongozi wetu wa, wa dini for the contribution they make 
our spiritual leaders, our spiritual institutions, our religious institutions, they play a critical role in the development of our country and we must eliminate burdens of taxes on our religious institutions and governor you have my support as you do that and I made a commitment that the government of Kenya is going to work hand in hand with our religious institutions from across the divide to make sure that we make it easy for our religious institution to make their contribution to participate in making sure that we have a society that is built on sound moral grounding. Na tutashirikiana namna hiyo na wa na wahimiza wale wote viongozi wetu wa dini watusaidie katika kujenga jamii yenye inaelewa yale mambo maovu na yale mambo mazuri tusaidie vijana wetu tuwaondoe katika mambo ya madawa mambo ya eh, madawa ya kulevia mambo ya ulevi na tuhakikisha kwamba tunajenga nchi ambayo vijana wetu tunaweza kuwakabidhi nchi ambayo iko na msimamo sawa sawa nataka niwaulize pia ndugu zangu watu wa Mombasa hapa Mombasa hatuna miti ya kutosha nimetembea barabarani miti ni chache sana na wasihi kila mmoja wetu tafadhali 